Wild Hearts is an EA original title and it is being developed by Omega Force. This game dev is a division of Koei Tecmo and they have brought out the famous Dynasty Warrior games along with other variations like Hyrule Warriors and Persona 5 Strikers. With Wild Hearts coming out in February 2023, I had to look around and see why people are getting excited for this game. Now I know when we all saw this game, we just thought this is Monster Hunter, but better. I mean, it looks better. Anyways, let me just talk about all the information that I've gathered. So Wild Hearts is a hunting game where you're able to use ancient technology to fight against giant nature infused beasts. They call the beast Kimono, which is literally a Japanese translation for beast. The ancient tech is called Karakuri. And with this, you're able to create various wooden structures to either fight the big boys play Farmville, or travel across the land. <clears throat> Searching far and wide. There's apparently eight unique weapons to choose from. As far as I've seen, there's a katana, a bow, a bladed wagasaga, which is basically blades on an umbrella, a cannon, and a hammer. There's also some sort of staff that can transform into five different weapons, including a katana, an umbrella, and a giant shuriken. I don't know why the staff can transform into a katana or umbrella when we already have that. When you get the monsters to low health, they will go into an enraged state, allowing them to gain new abilities and perform new attacks. Sounds just like when I triggered the Monster Hunter fans with my best video. There's also some character customization, armor builds, gear upgrades, and you can play this game with two others. So you and two friends can get destroyed by the monsters, rage quit, and complain that the game is too hard. Whereas the others will call that a skill issue. Yeah, that's right, you're trash! This game is only going to be on PS5, the Xbox Series, and PC. Meaning that if you're still on those last gen consoles, then it looks like you gotta get that upgrade. Now, what are my thoughts on this game? Since I've made quite a bit of Monster Hunter vids, and I believe that most of my audience came from that game. To be honest, it looks great. Graphic wise, this game looks amazing. I do have to wonder what game engine they are using. It looks like Unreal Engine, but I'm gonna guess it isn't. If it is though, I wouldn't be too surprised. The game is also running around with the whole Japanese theme, which I don't mind. I am slightly getting tired of it since it's become so mainstream, but it's fine for now, it's fine. The combat doesn't look too different from Monster Hunter, which is all right because I don't see how you can change it to be unique in its own way. I do want to know how good the combos are. I haven't seen a deep look into the combos, and I'm hoping it will be just as good, if not better than Monster Hunter weapons. We'll just have to wait and see for that. The only thing that separates this combat from Monster Hunter's combat is the Kakuri. And that looks pretty awesome. Being able to build these wooden structures to fight against the big boys looks cool. Even though it's pretty much Fortnite. Let's not talk about that. I've already heard people say, so uh, this game is just uh, Monster Hunter, but Fortnite. I hate hearing it like that, but... Uh, Alright, I guess. I really like the looks of the monsters as well, even though they're just enlarged versions of an animal. One of my favourites is the big ice doggo, Death Stalker, looking like Amaterasu from Okami, even though I haven't played Okami. I really like how they look when they get enraged and they get that red glow up. They basically have streamer lights turned on. I would love to see the armor builds because as far as I've read, it sounds like the same as Monster Hunter. Stuff like increasing your stamina and regen, resistances and defenses. Which again, seems completely fine, but just give us some looks into it. I, I, like, I want to see what kind of build I can make. I don't know what god build I can make. I've also seen that you can customize your campsite. Unlike Monster Hunter where you always have a base of operations where you can craft stuff, eat meals, and prep yourself before heading to battle, Wild Hearts already drops you in the world to hunt the beasts and you can build your own base of operations. That's already so much better than Monster Hunter's way of hunting monsters. At first, I found it weird that you would have to jump in between the base of operations and the hunting area. Like, I do understand why it's like that, because you would want to make sure you're preparing yourself for the hunt by making sure you have the right weapon, eat a meal to get additional buffs, and your inventory is stacked with potions or whatever you need. However, I always wanted a way where I could just already be in the world and start hunting and not get held back by a loading screen. I mean, you can just start a hunt and prepare yourself in the campsite, but if you've already prepared yourself beforehand, then the campsite just becomes a refill station for your inventory stock. Or you can change your weapon as well, but again, you should have already made sure you've brought the right weapon. 
it's like a weird paradox of you can do this but you should have already done this either way i think i might find it a little jarring to just jump into the hunt straight away in wild hearts rather than waiting for a loading screen to finish i'm not saying that is a bad thing i'm just saying that it's gonna be good to just not see that timer anymore <laughs> I'm also intrigued to find out how they are going to handle the hunts. I've only seen how it works as a story playthrough, like when you defeat a monster, you move on to the next to progress the story. However, how does it work through farming a monster? Like, do I have to accept a quest, like how it is in Monster Hunter, or will the monsters spawn randomly in the world? I'm gonna guess that you accept a mission to hunt down the monster, because if it's on a random spawn, then that would be unfair. Like imagine you desperately need that one material, but it's the other monster that spawns. That would piss me off. Since there's no base of operations from the looks of it, it just makes me wonder if there's gonna be a NPC just constantly handing out hunting missions. There's also word of crossplay. I believe Monster Hunter fans hated the fact that the game had no ability to play with others from a different platform. Like being able to play with the Xbox gang, the Sony boys, and the PC master clans. Hopefully, this game is good enough to create a strong community of players to play with. However, I don't think I've seen any word of cross save, which would be another great bonus. It would be great to switch from your PC to your console for people that play like that. Now that I have a better PC, I would like to stream the game from my console and switch to PC when I'm not streaming. So please, Wild Heart devs, make it a thing. Now, there's quite a few concerns that I have for this game, even though it's not out yet. Number one, the monsters. There's nothing wrong with the looks or the attacks with the monsters. My problem is, how many are there? From the official website, there's 10 monsters to fight. Monster Hunter World had 34 monsters to fight, with four of them being three DLC monsters. That's a lot of monsters even though three of them are just reskins of another monster. With only 10 monsters to fight in Wild Hearts, oh boy. Ooh, I don't know about that one. Either the game is gonna get boring real quick, or the game is gonna be quick to grind. For a hunting game like this, you would want it to be a grindy game. And if you don't know what I mean by grindy, then you need to reconfirm your gamer brain. Okay, I'm only kidding. What I mean is that the game has to have the ability to make me fight monsters multiple times to get a specific armor or weapon. If this game is not gonna be grindy, then it's another case of ride syndrome, meaning that it's gonna be quick and boring. Hopefully it's not going to be that case, please. Next problem, EA. Listen, I'm sure we all know EA's nonsense when it comes to games nowadays, just like how Anthem got done dirty. So, if EA somehow pulls off a battle pass or any form of microtransactions in here, I will facepalm myself and transport myself into another world. I swear, if I see a monster locked behind a DLC option, I will lose it. Plus, with how broken games are nowadays, I really hope that nothing goes bad with this one. From how the build looks, it looks great, but I'm still cautious with it. Another one is the single map. As far as I've seen, I think it's just one giant open world space, which again, looks cool. Like everything in there looks great, it looks amazing in there, but that's going to get boring over time. It does look like there's more zones with different looks to them, but I'm a bit worried with it being in a single play space. Maybe I'm just too used to Monster Hunter having multiple maps to fight in. I guess that's another thing to wait and see how that will hold up. Overall, I can't wait for it. There needs to be more games that can compete with Monster Hunter. Just please don't be broken. There's already been a streak of games that look good, but fail at the end product. Also, don't have anything blocked behind DLC. It's fine if it's something like Monster Hunter DLC like Iceborne, because that's just an expansion, but just don't be mediocre. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I shall see you guys later.